Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to ATA Above the Apex, or Tap the Apex, I think it's called. Um, GP2 division around the streets of Monte Carlo. Uh, expect drama. Might not be many passings, but expect some drama. We may even get a new winner in the league. My name is ATA Mr. Michaels, and I'm joined by a partner who hasn't been here for a long time, Mr. Craig. You're back. Yay. Yes, it's good to be back for a one-off race. It's good to be back. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can sign you up. But uh, yes, as I said, we're here at Monaco. We have a slightly depleted lobby for the first time this season. Uh, Q1 is irrelevant, basically. And you, everyone should basically retire. And then we can get um, stuff underway, which is a shame. But um, there are reasons attached to that. Slightly depleted grids. But we should be still fine. Can you invite BDRW back, please, Craig, if you can? Or am I going to have to do it? I you nearly. Have to do it. I don't have them on my friends list. I need if you've got to press A as well. <laughs> That's BDRW again. Again, his connection seems to be dropping down. But here we go. Let's invite you back in. That's fine. There we go. So here we are in qualifying. Um, and as I said, uh, Q1 is basically irrelevant because we only have 14 drivers here tonight. Which is a shame, Craig, but uh, still, what are you expecting here tonight? Well, do I really need to ask? Absolute chaos if we go from last night as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to expect much at the moment. I'm expecting everybody to retire. Two people are already retired. One person's going out, funny yes. enough. I think in the Force uh, India, I think. Who is that? Gary. It would be Gary, wouldn't it? It would be <laughs> Gary. Yeah, somebody, and somebody else has got out as well. Uh, it's yeah, fine. Eagle's though. got out as well. Um, no, it is. No. no. Gary's actually going out for a proper one. Seriously, Gary, if you crash, then it's your fault. But, you know. <laughs> so. It would have surprised me if you did. <laughs> <coughs> but anyway, so everyone should retire because, well. Q1 is irrelevant. If everyone retires, we can get straight through the Q2 and get business underway. But if everyone's not going to do that, then that's fine. But as you can see, we're under the uh, floodlights here tonight. Um, in this evening, we've got Monaco in... I pretty much said the same thing three times over. Bear with me. Um, but yes, uh, a thing that we've had in ATA for quite a few seasons now, ever, ever since it introduced it. Um, under the floodlights of Monaco. Is it any different, Craig, really, between the day and the night? It's kind of different, but once you're really focused, and everyone should be focused, on keeping their car at the barriers, it's not really that much difference. I, I don't really tell much of a difference. I think it looks nicer in the, in, at night than in the day, to be honest, but I don't see a lot of difference when you go around the track. Now I do have a book which I got at Christmas which told me every single corner name um, around this track but I've completely forgotten it but uh, oh, I do yeah. remember a few, I do remember a few as Gary goes on I guess a introduction lap I guess um, for this as he goes round to the uh, hairpin here which is taken as he, uh, he hits the wall. And he's so. hit the wall. Nice lap Gary. Just retire Gary, please. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> I just don't go hit the wall again. What is he doing? I mean, it's, I, I shouldn't really laugh, but it's uh, kind of comical, isn't it? Just retire, man. What are you doing? As he goes through uh, the Novel Chicane, I believe it's called. Yes, I believe it's called that. Yes. That's why I, that's why I crashed out last night, so I'm not very happy about that. Gary, stop tapping the wall, get back in the pits, and do as you're told. As he goes through the uh, swimming yes. pool chicanes there. Please, Gary. Please. Um, something I've noticed with this... Um, thank you, Gary. You listened. Something I've noticed with this game, which um, people may take um, a, a bit of advantage of, is the... Um, is the... Sh games. Uh, Craig? Wow, what's wrong? What, what did your um, results screen say? Well, God, it actually looked, to be honest. 
Never mind. Never mind. There. Never mind. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, fortunately, okay. BDRW uh, lagged out in that session. I believe he should be coming back to get a message. I disconnected before it started. Got people. Got yeah, I believe people. he's back anyway. I think I he's back, anyway. back though. Yeah, should be fine. Right, so here, so here we go then. The business of Jeep of a uh, qualifying two. So we shall lose three people actually in this one. Uh, 11th, 12th, and 13th. Is there anybody that you would put down in that bottom three? Is there anybody maybe you think may struggle? I mean, Monaco is Monaco, isn't it? Is it? You either like it or you don't like it. Anything can happen. And to be honest, I haven't really been following GB2 a lot these last few races, so I can't really. Just everybody's pace you know i know the main the top guys i'll be up there but i think it'll be very tight to be honest so mm -hmm. I, I can't predict who's going to go out be quite interesting may seem may see a few surprises uh coming into going into q3 see who goes through when it comes to salvo shadow racer um championship wise um we had a bit of a bit of a shake-up actually in the last round in Spain and obviously if you haven't watched it then please do I did the commentary all by my loads of my voice got very dry as a uh, shadow almost hits into the voice got a force in you have Gary I believe right behind him it's gonna be quite interesting but uh, Gary just back off a little bit that should be fine but uh, yes we had a championship shift we didn't uh, have a championship lead change but the gap was definitely cut because Desert Eagle was disqualified from the race for an incident that he did during the Spanish Grand Prix. You may have seen it on the stream. He, uh, the stewards, uh, found it very, um, very bad move indeed. So he got disqualified from the race. HLG, his closest rival, managed to finish second. So has cut the gap to just four points. So Desert Eagle is on 71, with HLG now on 67. Uh, next up is Skyline on 57, still in the championship fight. But then there's a bit of a gap to my uh, uh, driver, Optical G, who's in fourth place. And Lukey, after getting his first win after going down to GP2, is already up into fifth place. So, so as I said, uh, as I said, Craig, Eagle is at the top of the championship with HG cut, cutting it down. As a uh, bossman, I think has crashed it. Yes, he has just before the tunnel. Place yeah. Odd place to get that really is it? Difficult corner, but hmm. interesting. So, see, so yeah, as I said, um, HLG cut the gap to Desert Eagle Grey. Do you think he can uh, get one over an Eagle? Can he even take the championship lead from him? I think he could, but he said he's not very confident that he's actually going to finish tonight. So. Um... Hmm. But th this is normally a race where people don't get many points to end up getting something like a podium tonight. Anything can happen. You just survive. You can easily get a good amount of points around Monaco. Yes. Yes, indeed. As uh, Desert Eagle has set the early benchmark of a 13-3 on the Ultra Softs. I noticed Mackie has gone on the soft tyres. That's an interesting call. A yeah, very I'm interesting a bit curious call. About that. I mean, uh, Dom, uh, fast part time, and HLG, the uh, guy in second, as I said, is on super softs as well. But soft tire run for uh, Desert Eagle as Luki goes into the twelves now. So Luki's got some pace about him this time. As Mackie crosses the line on an eighteen six, um, is he maybe thinking rain? Because obviously we we don't know the conditions of the race. It could be raining. Um. But then again, if it was raining, I'd say more people would be trying this strategy. Yeah, like I said, we don't know the strategy, so... Here comes Ryan, he is on a lap at the moment as it comes through Raskas, a little bit deep into that double right-hander there. He's got to keep the speed up as he comes across the start finish line, it's going to be into the 14, so the 14.5 goes to P4 at the moment, just pops ahead of Mansell, he's another one like Hale G, not very confident about this race, um, he does want to concentrate and do very very well as he goes wide just before uh, the casino square. What, what, um, 
What would you say is the key for this track, Craig, apart from obviously avoiding the walls? Um, just trying to get into a good rhythm, really. Um, there is a lot to say, really. Trying to get a good rhythm, trying to make sure you avoid hitting the walls. Indeed. I, I, I thought, to, thought to it last night. I think if you think about it too much, about whether you're hitting the walls or not, then you're going to hit the walls. It's, it's, it's weird saying that, but if you overthink it, you're probably going to. If that makes sense. I just feel you just, you know, yeah. just go in it with no fear. If you crash, you crash, you know. That happens, yeah. so. Gary is, seems to be on a very uh, quick-ish lap as he goes into Raskas now. Currently sick. Not many times have been set so far, actually. Still quite a few drivers yet to set a time as uh, Gary comes across. It's going to be in the 13s. 13-7 goes into P3. That's not too bad. Good lap. What would you expect a uh, pole to be? I mean, 12-8 uh, from Luki definitely shows that he's got pace around here. Well, if he does what he did last night, it's going to be an early 12, late 11. Of course. Oh, Shadow! Shadow has just hit the, uh, oh, hit the barriers. He's hit the barriers in the final corner. I don't think that even has a name. Uh, he has yet to set a time and he's got... Oh, and he's... Yeah, he's, uh, he's just gone straight along to the wall. Okay, fair enough. Is he out? Yeah, he's out. He went headlong into the wall, Craig. <laughs> Jeez. Oh dear. That was a, uh, a no brakes in the turn one, unfortunate to see, but uh, here we go. Fast part time in the Williams. Now, last time out, what did he do last time out? I can't actually remember what he did last time out. I f don't think he finished for some reason. Was he outside? Oh no, he got caught up in the first, well, I'm going to nickname it the first lap shenanigans because that's what happens. It seems to happen really. First lap shenanigans as um, he got caught up in Russia as well, the same kind of phrase. But um, he's on eight points so far in this championship, just steadily going along. I think he'll be keen to uh, score some more tonight. He's on the super soft, which is an interesting call. Very sideways out the final corner. And sets a 15 3. He might actually be okay to go through the Q3 with that, considering the uh, lack of times at the moment. HG interestingly has gone on a 13.7 on Super Softs. That's that's pace. That's some pretty good pace there. Yeah, that's there. good. That's good pace. Right, Joran in the Renault. Whoa! <laughs> he almost did a Schumacher. He almost did a Schumacher through Raskas there. Uh, just about to get <coughs> going. And sets a 16 4 but it was invalidated though. So it carries on. I don't think Matthew's gonna go on the, the super softs or the ultras. So as I mentioned with this race, um, don't expect many passes to be honest. I mean, probably the only passes you may see is uh, on the run down to turn one and basically via the pit lane. Unless uh, yeah. you have some very brave manoeuvres. But, um, so that doth, does often lead to quite um, an uneventful race. I hope that is not the case. I hope there's drama in the good way. But, um, no, there's been plenty of uh, interesting races in Monaco and real life F1. What is uh, one race that you've seen, Craig, that stands out for you, if, if, there's, if there is any, actually? What, oh no, there's one. This year already. Oh no, just just you know, any any F1 race that has taken part in Monaco that you remember. Uh, it's been quite a few. Quite a few that stand uh, out, anyway. Yeah, there's, I haven't really got a favourite, but I've got. I have one to be honest. Uh, for me, it's uh, relatively simple. The Grand Prix in 1996. Which Olivier Panis? Oh yeah, the most people start the time. Yeah, that's crazy, but that's hell. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, my microphone just cut out there. Yeah, Olivier Panis from um, 
think it was 14th on the grid in a, a really crazy race that saw lots of retirements. I think actually only six people finished in that race, which was crazy. So uh, hopefully we may, hopefully we won't get that very uh, same amount of attrition in this tonight race, but you never know. As uh, Skyline goes around the hairpin there. Luki seems very, very comfortable with that time at 12.8. I do think that will be safe enough to go into Q3. No yeah, that's yeah, right. Whoa, no Ryan. Ryan lost it in the swimming pool section. Oh. Goodness me, he's got damage though. Does he have damage? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he does. Does that damage back into the pits he goes. Currently P7 on a 14.5. He's not happy at the moment, but... Uh, did say before we started. Mansell is going around. Where's Gary? Gary is there. Eagles half a second down on his personal best time, but he seemed to be safe. But whoa, nearly lost it. In fact, damage on his front wing there. I think, judging by qualifying and judging by by these guys, um, we might it might be a case of uh, whoever wins is whoever keeps their front wing. Whoever's <laughs> the less pits, the earliest pit stops. Oh, Gary! <laughs> Slipping and sliding through. Vasquez, Jesus. Another casualty to the front wing. These front wings cost money, people. What are you doing? Because <laughs> uh, there's a line of 13 7. Yeah, this could be very interesting indeed, as with that has just joined. That's. Who was that? I mean, Clone Trooper, I think it was. Never heard him before. Lobby should have locked down. It's someone's friend, obviously, because it's on friend. There he goes. He's there. Thank you very much, whoever you are. Right. Very interested to see why late. So Gary has retired. Is that in the pit lane? No, that isn't. Gary. Oh dear. He must have Gary, Gary. Oopsie. That's a driver warning for you, for my, for you, my friend. You should know this. Uh, Desert Eagles run out of fuel, so he's coasting back. Uh, Gary seems to be okay with that time, but unfortunately retired on track, which is a rule now. So we've got Lates in the Haas and Joran in the Renault, yet to set a tying, Craig. A little bit of pressure on them now. Maybe they've just hit the wall or had some accidents, but he said they're going to be under a lot of pressure now. Got to get that one big lap in. Oh, Gary sent me a message. Yeah, Gary has just sent me a message. Yeah, uh, is it a reason for his retirement or...? He said, I, he said, I forgot about the rule. Forgot about the rule, okay. People watching the stream, Mackie's retired on a 17-7 on the softs. I don't think that's going to be safe enough to go through. It's all going to be down to... I notice Lates is not going out the pits, actually. And Joran, the set 15-4, would have been fast enough but invalidated, so he's got only enough time to do one more lap to come through. He's got damage, so he's already struggling. Yeah, and Lates, Lates is staying into the pit, so I don't know what he's doing. I didn't tell him to do this, but oh, as Joran is deep into that corner. Quite a lot of people are struggling here, it must be said. Well, maybe more people just focusing on the race strategy. Is that is that a tactic? I heard I heard people say that they um they were going to just basically start from the back and just survive. Really, is that a tactic? Really, you should go for? Or? Well. Sometimes I wouldn't because you could just hit the back of the and it's that spot on in front of you if they don't go, so that could be a problem. Ah, I see. Lakes would join back into the session after Q1. Why did he reach out? Did he lag out or something? Oh, okay, but here comes Joran. Is he going to set enough time despite having lots of damage? He's out of fuel, but sets the time though. He's through. A 16 flat 
and crashes the wall. He's very, very lucky. He hasn't actually retired from that, but he's through. Fair enough then. So there we go. Amaki actually did go through because tenth lack of numbers and three problems for people has set that. But there you go. There is the ten through. So we've lost Shadow Racer in the in the Salva Lakes in the Haas and Bossman in the Toro Rosso. Not the most eventful qualifying session so far, Craig. Uh, but um, no, I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit more exciting than the Q3. Mm -hmm. well, there we go. Watching Skyline. I believe he's changed his helmet. Must have done. Um, as he goes through the tunnel there. Yeah, I believe he has. But there you go. There is the 10. Luki fastest at the moment on the 112.8. Can anybody get close enough to him? HG uh, went for on the super softs, interestingly, on a 13.7. So, might be able to see him on the front row. Uh, fast part time also went through on the super soft. And Maki, 17.7, almost 5 seconds off the pace, but we're into Q3 on a pair of softs. So he's got a lot of um, super softs to use. Could be quite an interesting Still strategy. Market. Here we go into Q3. This is this is definitely going to be the most interesting part, unless they all don't settle up. They all they all, all could just boycott. Surely he got to do a lap. We can't just wait around for him to do nothing. Oh, is it raining? It's raining. Look at it. Is it? Look in the pit lane, oh you, can my see, God it you is. see at the top, oh, it's the yeah. same as last oh night. It's the same as last night, so... it, Because you can see, everyone's on ultra softs. Yeah, it's the same as Q3 last night, Craig. Everyone's on ultra softs, you're literally going to have enough time to set one lap. And that's it. More or less, whoever's out first, which is Luki, is going to have the best track. Or the conditions at the best time, but you've got to be extremely careful. These conditions are like... This is they are extremely, extremely treacherous. So that's thrown something. This is gonna be quite interesting. And a lot of people Imagine a lot the same of them weather for the race as well, like last night. Yeah, a lot of them have come out on the come out of the track at the very at the very same time. I hope they keep things civil and spacious. I know they've got to get round as quickly as possible, but they've got to behave themselves and there's one, two, three, four cars all going down to the hairpin at the same time almost. It's it's spitting, isn't it? I don't think it's raining as hard as it was in Q3 last night. But still, I mean, no. it's really problematic for it these could, guys. It could get worse. It could get worse. And interestingly, everyone has actually gone out on track apart from Mansell and Mackie for some reason. Um, I don't know whether they're happy with a top 10 finish and decided to start from that. Well, Mackie's just coming out now. Maybe he was waiting for space, but I don't think that was the right move to do. As they set on their laps now. Oh, Luki, that was close. Very close. Yeah, DRS is still there. And I think, the, yeah, the conditions aren't as bad as they were in Q3. I mean, it's raining, no. obviously, but I don't think it's raining as hard. It's no, spitting it's like slightly drizzle. down. Yeah. Whereas, whereas ours, you know, went to full full wets I think at the end of Q3. Let's see on board of on board of Luki. But obviously with the uh with the uh under the lights you can also, you can uh, tell that it's raining a bit more clearly than it was than was in the day. So as he comes through. Of course as he said you've got to watch on the traction now. I think Luki, Luki is one of the Monaco specialists, of course, he qualified actually quite high as an F1 reserve last night, so maybe maybe he knows Monaco like the back of his hand. It'll be, it'll be quite different as he goes through this corner, through the swimming pool chicane. In my opinion, one of the most feared, feared that, that opening bit of the swimming pool chicane, I think, is the more trickiest corner because you've got to trust that you've actually got the line right. You can't turn out oh, of it. Very tricky. As Luki, it's still going to be a re decent time actually, considering the um, dampness. There's a 13.5. Interestingly, it's 13.5 on the really top. Good. There's a 13.499 that came up on the bottom. 
Optical goes second on a 15-4. They all come running through. Anybody else? Gary invalidated his lap time. That don't be good. 14-7 for Ryan. Quite a few invalidate their lap times. Uh, Optical's right in front of uh, McLaren. Oh, Desert Eagle's actually gone second on a 14-4. It's all coming through now. Is anybody going to get their Lukey though? They only want H, H, H or G's. H or G's, um, I would have said bottle it, bottled it because I thought he had the pace around him. He had damage on his lap. He's back in the pits. <laughs> that's, a, that's a near disaster, really, if he uh, doesn't get out in time. Trash is getting wetter and wetter by the minute. Mackie, 17-4. 16-6 for Mansell, goes 5th, just ahead of Dom. And I tell, tell you what guys, that's probably the fastest times you're actually going to see. So the weather's kind of ruined Q3 again like it did from last night. Oh Gary! <laughs> Completely sideways out of there. As he set a 16 to invalidate it again! Oh, chat limits for Gary is not not going well for him. Finds himself in ninth. So both Gary and HLG have succumbed to the conditions, I guess. Gary was chat limits and HD was damage. So Gary yeah. and HLG, the only ones haven't set a lap time yet. Mm -hmm. And the conditions, as I said, just deteriorating as they go. I mean, uh, actually, actually Mantle's improved to a 16-2, so maybe you can find a little bit of time, but that 13-5 I think is going to go unchallenged. And that's sim uh, that was simply... that's I don't think that's Lukey really being... Well, he is fast around here, clearly, but that was just the fact that he was out, out in the pits first time because he's in Mercedes. No, he got that. I was yeah. actually... Gary... Yeah, he's got out of wets. Well, he's checking the wets out, actually. Yeah, oh, you see, he's, 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 okay. he's flicking through yeah, the tyres. Yeah. I think Gary's actually improved to fourth place on the 15th flat. So, yeah, I'm wrong. You can find time, but just not a lot. Let's see what HLG can do. Obviously, I mean, as I said, he had a fantastic result in Spain. Well, for his championship anyway. Close the gap to Eagle, but Eagle is currently on the front row. And HLG is currently 10th. That is not a good place to be. Especially on the first lap. Monaco and he's tapped the wall casino. Oh, he's it's, it's, it's under pressure. He's under pressure here. Ibeno, Timono, oh. Renault, of course. He's struggling to set a lap around these tricky conditions. They, they are very tricky. I mean, Monaco is tricky enough, but in the wet, slightly damp on dry tyres, it's... Very hard. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to improve on intermediates either. An intermediate time is what? 119-ish? You're in about 4-5 seconds, like, aren't yeah, you? The, yeah, I can't see anybody improving now. Uh, but for HLG, really, I mean, it could... I think the lap time you can really aim for is like a 116, 115, which would be better than nothing. It'd be better than 10. He's got to get it together. He's got four minutes left. He decided to stick it out with the damage. Very sideways out there. The track is just getting wetter and wetter by the second. He comes through. It's seventh, 17-4. It's better than 10. Still not ideal though. I mean, seventh, seventh with this amount of numbers is directly in the middle. That's the worst place to be, according to many yeah, people. Yeah, you can be involved in an incident at the start. Yeah, Optical G has retired with uh, fifth place. If he stays there, that'd be good. I'll be happy anyway. As, uh, Skyline lets by fast part time, who is actually on an outlap. As Mackie has retired. 
Yeah, I think quite a few of them are realising they're not improving on this, in these conditions. Not at all. Yeah, not going to go any quicker. I think Eagle would be pleasantly happy with the front row. I think. What? Definitely I brought it back from oh, Spain so happy. far anyway. Just qualifying, yeah, but so happy. far. I'll tell you one thing that is uh, interesting as well is the constructors in GP2, which I don't think anybody has noticed, but I can tell you for a fact, you have four teams separated by seven points. Still, rel still relatively early days, but still. I mean, McLaren, yeah, it's very close. McLaren only lead Force India by three points, as uh, Luki has actually retired. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. They're just going to be trundling round. Yeah, that's how the grid's going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, the spray is now even coming off of these tyres, so... But HRT's done more go up to four. He's got a decent lap in. Oh, he actually got fourth? Yeah. How did he improved to fourth? Gee, goodness me. Got a 114. How close he is to Skyline, actually. Very close. Again, I get proved wrong. These guys have proven me wrong <laughs> countless times. There you go. There, there, was, there was enough grip on the track when you're in your lap. <laughs> I don't get how. I really do not get how. <laughs> but yeah. Or maybe, it's, or maybe it's just a case he got used to the track, where the grip is and where it isn't. I guess. The eagle's still going out, trying to improve. Mm -hmm. See what eagle can do. I mean, he's a temp down on his uh, first sector. Very wide, you can see the spray is definitely uh, coming up now. Down. Yeah, 1.2. Yeah, so I think that is going to be it. HLG in fourth place, yeah. Just trundling around now. The Mansell. Mansell could still improve. I mean, obviously, you've now a 14. It's the time as a uh, fast part time has showed how difficult the conditions are. He's crashed at Casino. He uh, fancies a bit of a poker, clearly. Um, <laughs> well, we all he's going to crash at some point. <laughs> well, so that's the only crash he has this uh, this qualifying. And uh, speaking of crashes, John has uh, lost it at turn one. Um, as he sets an 18-8. Maybe he only just scraped through into Q3, so he's there in tenth place. He lost his uh, bit of his front wing, though, so just going to go back. See about Eagle. Yeah, definitely not. So we have Lukey on the pole, it seems. His uh, second pole position in a row, Craig, actually. He only got it by 8,000 over HLG last time. <coughs> Are we expecting him to go off into the distance, or is it not as simple as that? Uh, it's not as simple. I think he's a strong runner anyway. Um, I was just thinking he just got out there first and timed it right with doing the lap before it got even more wet. He's, really, so. he's in Mercedes, as I said. Their pit, their pit garage is right at the end of the pit lane. Him and Skyline were the first two uh, drivers out, so... Very lucky. Mm -hmm. Very much indeed. In fact... Actually, again, I am wrong. Stop listening to me because I, 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 my facts are wrong. Mercedes are actually the first pit. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep missing the last, facts. I'm getting them wrong. In fact, the, the last one would be the did. last one would be Salva, wouldn't it? Yes. So, yes. No, I don't that. get that. I don't get that at all. I don't get how Luki has won the race to the end of the pit lane when his pit box is at the very end or the very beginning. That doesn't make sense. But there we go. HLG is just quietly coasting round, showing off his uh, colours, I guess. Well, he has to go back into the pits before he retires, obviously, but uh, we'll be ready for the race, ready for the drama that will unfold. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be wet from the start. And yeah, that could completely throw everything out of the complete window. Just, you know, just trundle round and don't crash, basically, if it's the wet weather. <laughs> There we go, there is qualifying for you. Luki in the Mercedes, once again grabs pole position, this time a bigger margin, but right place at the right time, he gets it. Uh, Desert Eagle puts Spain behind him, gets on the front row in second. 
Skyline will be very happy with third, and I think HLG will as well. Both not very confident with this track, third and fourth. Oh, Gary so close though. Wow. Yeah, Gary in fifth, Optical sixth, Mansell seventh, Fast Part Time in eighth, Mackie in ninth, and Joran in tenth. My god. Not as uh, dramatic as last last time out in Spain, because that was ridiculous. But let's no, it's Monaco. Sometimes the qualifying can be quite disappointing around Monaco, so. Mm -hmm. Let us get ready for the Monaco Grand Prix. Under the lights, as you can see, you can see all the cameras flashing off there. And uh, what's your prediction, Craig? Are we going to see a dominant Luki win? Are we going to see a Desert Eagle dominant win if he gets to jump off the line? Or are we going to see a surprise? Are we going to see, oh, I don't know, Boss man winning. It's really, for example. it's really hard because this is like the most unpredictable race to predict who's going to win in the season. Mm -hmm. If Luki and that lot in the front don't crash out, I highly doubt it. You know, I'm highly counting something to happen, then they should go on and be all right. But then there could be somebody near the back who doesn't keep hitting walls and could get on a podium. So I really don't know. Anything could happen. All it takes is a simple drop in concentration at this track a simple distraction you could have anything you could have anything in your house that could you know distract you you could just take your eye off the ball for a split second and it's gone completely gone even even if you are in the lead by half a second a minute half a second half a minute it's and i think that even is a danger because you relax you relax i think try and stay you can't in. relax around what okay yeah, you cannot relax Cannot relax in Monaco at all, but uh, uh, Lakes for some reason has said he's in a Toro Rosso. Um, don't know why you're in a Toro Rosso. That's a bit of a weird. What car is he supposed to be in? He's meant to be in the Haas. He's meant to be my driver. Oh, that's weird. But surely the points are going to Haas anyway, even if he's in a Toro Rosso, won't it? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. I'll make sure they will. I'll make sure they will. <laughs> yes, I am all set for this. I've been waiting for this all day, pretty much. My weekend is set, and it begins pretty much with this race, with this thing here tonight. Monaco Grand Prix of GP2. Let's let's hope above all else. Let's hope above all else we get as clean as race as possible. You know, I've I sent a message to the GP2 drivers in the chat saying, please, you know, let's please be aware where you are. Basically, there isn't much room to pass and maneuver. Just you know, 90 percent of them just want to get this race over and done with. Simply, so. Let's just get this and one I out of the way. Them. Huh? And I don't blame them. Yeah, I don't blame them either, but uh, let's get this race out of the way. And, you know, we, we still like each other at the end of it, basically. We're all, we're all friends, still. I hope. Maybe. Yeah, but we're, we're not we're on the track. We're enemies on the track. <laughs> we're complete enemies. We, we, we hate each other. We just want to... Uh, no, 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 it's, it's competitiveness and, you know, that, it does need it, it does need it, but, uh, why are we waiting for such a long time? Come on, Ryan, I was better than this last night. I actually, you know, readied up when I thought it was in a reasonable time. You're just... <laughs> don't, you, don't you make me get into this series of jumping from the top of uh, pit buildings, which, by the way, I do not <laughs> want anyone to do, anyone that's listening. I'm not getting into it. No, I won't make it. <laughs> Yay! Fast spot time, listen. Thank you. Thank you for that, for readying up. Well, fast your seatbelts, Craig. This could be an interesting one. Oh, yes. Right. Looking forward to this one. I should have got a drink before I started. My throat's already dry. It could be more dry by the end. Yeah, but I here should we have go. Got one as well. Here we go. I believe it's. Uh, how many laps is it? 39 laps. Of Monaco, these laps, yeah. <laughs> it's very long race, a very very long race indeed. Let's get ready. 
for the start of the Monaco Grand Prix and a long way on the lights that is a very long way and away they go and jump start for Mackie well he jumped the start straight at the beginning there and Luke has kept his lead ahead of the McLaren of Eagle as they go through turn one they're all just about I think still going in the straight line as they go through past the casino and uh, uh, Gary Gary's lost it Gary's lost in the force oh, no. back in front of the horse he's already damaged his front wing we're gonna get a lot of that and uh, obstacle was looking up on the inside Oof. I was trusting Gary a little bit there's a Renault up on the inside of optical optical gives in the room there's a Ferrari straight into the back of the Williams I said keep it plain had it's very hard to do that, That was Mansell, I think, that went straight to the back of Dom. What's his own damage? But, right uh, the back. Yeah, Mackie, Mackie had a jump start, didn't he? I think he had an unfortunate lag start, maybe. But there we go, as they go through the swimming pool oh, for the Saturday first time. Oh, got a three second time penalty already. We're going to see a lot of them today as well. Yes, we will. Track limits as well. Not as bad as Canada next week, just prepared for that. But it's Lukey who's already got a second gap away from a oh, boss, boss man. Has, out. Boss man's crashed it already. He, he, he was the first of that casualty oh, as reserve in F1. Yeah. He's already gone. Yeah, oh god, he's lost around the swimming pool. Yeah, oh, that's such a shame. Mm -hmm. We have three, four, four drivers in the pits. Joe and Fast Part Time, Gary and Shadow of five. Oh, five. Lukey. I oh, thought Lukey hit the wall then. I think he Definitely did, I think he may have scraped it a little bit. There we go. Um, quite what, interesting. the front three run away with it already. Indeed. And then you got another queue after that. Yeah, it's a massive, massive gap. There's five seconds nearly to, op to uh, Optical G, who's running around in fifth. BDRW's had a very very decent start from the back of the grid remember he's already up in seventh challenging Mansell and they go all oh, through the Novel chicane and he's hopped the curbs got a penalty because of it maybe avoiding the car in front of Mansell but still penalty for him yeah, Luke, yeah he's was starting to pull away a bit HLG is catching up to Second and third place now, so this could get interesting. Mm -hmm. BRW is all over the back of XR Mansell. It's difficult to pass here. He's got to be facing oh, the same time as Sim. Oh, coming the inside. No, no. Oh, there's no gap there. That could have been an accident there. <laughs> I mean, there, there, there was a could little bit of a gap there left by Mansell, so BDR was going for it, but he wisely backed out before he, he got further. He wasn't move. side by side with him, though. He no. Had to back out. Oh, oh, his shadow race is out. Yeah, shadow, he's crashed it with Raskas. But already, we're, dro we're dropping drivers. Wow. <laughs> Two already gone. It's only the third lap. Indeed. Here comes Ryan. And HLG, as you said, is right with these, uh, well, second and third, because Luki's gapped a little bit to Eagle now. It seems to me that Eagle might be hold. Actually, no. I think Eagle and Skyline are holding up HLG because no HLG had the pace. Yellow flags are set to free. Oh, and the Red Bulls hit the walls beyond Mansell. Lost a bit of wind there, yeah, he's off. EDRW, still got Shadow Park there. Obviously, no safety car, unfortunately, because the and he's is broken. Pits. And, and he's speeding as well. as well. Wow. Oh, that's not a good map for him. The, the, pit, the pit lane is very very tricky around here isn't it Craig it's very easy to speed it can in be it. but I like to take extra caution going into that pit lane so mm. yeah Luke yeah. has already got a two second gap already slowly pulling away now already mm. well we already, we, we already know he's kind of a Monaco specialist from uh, last night isn't he um, but yeah. he qualified I think, well qualified fifth actually but it Really, as I said, Monaco, you know, when you say about pace, the difference between F1 and GP2, it's the difference between, say, mid-gap of F1 and mid-gap of GP2 is very, very small.
because, as I said, you either like yeah. it or you don't. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those tracks you hate or you like. Mm -hmm. It's not a simple case of just being fast. You've got to be concentrating. You've got to keep it into the rhythm. And these guys doing this. Ryan slippy slides his way out of the final corner. <laughs> What's up to HLG? Damage. He, damage on his front yeah, wing. Yeah, he must have damaged. Drops it, so Optical's into fourth. So the guy that is challenging Eagle is already taking a hit. You must be happy because that's your driver up to fourth now. I'm kind of happy because Optical's into fourth, but kind of not happy because HRG's, you know, had damage. But still not out of this race yet. He's come out in sixth place on the soft tyres, so that could be interesting. He could. Unless you get to the end. Maybe, yeah. He's got to be good on his tyres, though. I wouldn't say tyre wear is a major factor around here. Very low tyre wear track. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's always... Oh, he turned a bit too early there. He's right the wall already, HMG. I'll get... Get back into a rhythm now. Mm-hmm. Last part-time is again in the pits. Quite a, quite a few people are not liking Zim Monica. Mm -hmm. Really proud of that. Welcome to my world from yesterday. Luke has actually dropped a bit of gap. I think he made a little bit of a mistake. Did Luke? In fact, Luke has got damage. I think. Does he? I think he has. I'm sure he does. Well, he, he hasn't got the pit, so you can see. That you can see it. If you've gone TV pod, I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a bit missing on the front right. I'm we'll not sure. Keep on the gap between him and Eagles. To yeah, close yeah, that yeah. Gap down. Go, go on the um, go on the TV pod on Skyland, who's actually dropped back as well. Um, yeah. You can see the right bit on Skyline is not there on Lukey's. It's very faint. Yes, yes, I do notice. Yeah, yeah, I noticed, Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. And Eagle does not um. have damage. But Eagle was definitely and struggling with the pace. they're coming up to lap the McLaren already, so could there be some teamwork going on here to try to hold up Luffy for Eagle? Will That's Mackie McLaren. hold him up a bit? Yeah, it's McLaren and Mackie. Yeah, quite a few people have already made... Let's go to the stops. Well, Dom has made it twice. Doran's in the pit for the second time. Yeah, it's could be decided... Out, could be decided on the... Uh, you know, whether you keep your front wing or not, because changing the front wing, whether you... See, the thing with Viluki, he doesn't necessarily have to change it, does he? No. Not if he's losing that much time, no. Alright. Yeah, he doesn't seem he to be. He's starting to away again. Yeah, he's Eagle's, away Eagle's again, definitely struggling with pace. Yeah. And I swear he hasn't got any damage. And even does even Ryan. He's got a bit wide there, though. Oh. Mantle's in the pits, he's lost, he lost two end plays actually on his car, so uh, it's survival of the fittest, really. It's ridiculous. I know, it's quite spread out really. Hey, Judge is now set the fastest lap and he's up back up to fifth, so he could be something to look no up damage. for later on in the race. Yeah, well, you know, he could get himself back into this later on. It's not over for him yet, by far. I noticed Ryan that. slowed down and went. His car went to ghost in the uh, tunnel. I don't know whether he was recording something or or other, but hmm, might be something. We've got 11 viewers. 11 viewers here tonight. Good, good evening to you. Um, I don't have the chat. Watch the as away, so I can't, uh, you know, broadcast and watch the chat at the same time because otherwise it, it just drops down the uh, quality, basically. Because uh, I've tried it. But uh, gaps are spreading out a bit. Which is a shame. But we've still got... We've got a race under our hands and anything can change literally in a heartbeat. we on lap 8 of this race. In for a long haul I think as well. Yeah I think we are. Sadly spread out a bit because certain people have made certain amount of pit stops already so... Mm -hmm. but but yeah, Eagle, a at the front. Eagle is getting steadily used to a rhythm. He's getting steadily into a um, a groove. He's catching back up to uh, Lukey. Lukey, of course, has yeah, a damage, obviously. So, had it back down to two seconds. A little bit of a lock-up from Lukey in front. 
Suzuki under a little bit of pressure. Yes. Yeah, it's under two seconds. And of course, if Eagle suddenly loses it, look who's in third place, picking up all the spoils. It's the Skyline. I know. He thought he wasn't going to survive this race tonight. <laughs> Still a long way to go, obviously, but you know. Oh, yeah. HLG is currently in a fifth place. I think, to be honest, if it finished as it is, I think HLG still could be relatively happy if he thinks about it. Fifth place. Yeah, still got I finish, would be. Obviously. Yeah, I would definitely be happy with that. Yeah, the flags in sector one. What do we have here? Fast part time has uh, lost it in turn one. He is not having a good time at whatsoever. Wow. Oh, um, Joe and spun it before the tunnel. Goodness me. Yeah, everyone from fifth downwards has made a pit stop for damage, basically. So only the top four haven't pitted yet. Oh, and Desert Eagle's lost it. He's turned too early, come out the swimming pool. Oh, and he's spun no. It. And surely he's got to get that place to ride now. No, he's kept it. He just about came oh. back in front. That's eased the pressure on Lukey now. Did he get damage? He did, yes. He's got a lot of damage, actually. He's, he must have, because he came out of the tunnel. Turned left a bit too early. He spun it completely. Not pitting, though. Not pitting, oh, and he's letting, uh, letting run, for, let run go he's through. Let run through. So it's Mercedes 1-2 at the moment. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We've not seen that before in real life. <laughs> um... I must advise Eagle, um, obviously do tell me if I'm wrong, but I must advise do not watch the stream manager racing. Oh, um, he's done to it again. Oh, he's really he's lost his... Oh, he's, oh, he's down now. to his... Gonna have uh, to pit now, he didn't before. Yeah, he's turned far too early, so, um, where it's going, your man must... Uh, up to go! He's gonna be on, yes. a po on a podium position. And oh, Dom's out. Oh, times retired. Um, That's in the pits. Yeah, he's had enough. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so we've got Mercedes 1-2. Here we go, then. We're going to have the Hassan third. And this is good for HLG as well, because he'll uh, be ahead of Eagle when he comes out of the pit lane as well. Still got a long way to go. Our obstacle's actually got heavy damage as well in this front. Does anyone oh, don't have no. damage? HLG's got damage. Has anyone got damage? Yeah, Gary doesn't. <laughs> well done, Gary. No jinx Gary, I'll probably get somebody for there, watch him for a bit. <laughs> he said he was going to crash gonna... on lap 7, so he's done better than he thought he was going to do. Yeah. You know what guys, I'm going to count the amount of front wings that are broken. <coughs> I roughly, roughly, roughly guess how much a front wing is. I'm sure we're in the millions by now. Uh, so there we go, change of front wing. Um, HLG should come out. Soft tyres. And HLG's HLG's been in as well, well. yeah, so he's Gary, got... Yeah, yeah, damage. He's going to be up to fifth place. Fourth. Fourth, probably. Oh, is he going to be ahead of Eagle as well? Yeah, he yes, is. Yes, he is. Fourth place. Well, well, Gary, he could be on for a podium yet. It's me. Oh, Lates. Lates has gone. Lates has crashed it. No! Oh. no. Where's he lost it? Oh, yeah, oh no, how's he done that? As long as he's like not breaking the... to the hairpin. I'm guessing... <laughs> What I'm wow. guessing he's done there is he's lost it going down to the hairpin and he's hit that barrier. Must have. That means everybody's guaranteed a point now. That's if he finished. If they survive. Oh, hello. Yeah. Somebody's just lost it. Uh, the has just lost it in the last one. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is what is this race? I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm trying to think how many uh. people are going to last in this race. Uh, going to rejoin the track in front of Skyline. It goes, whoa! Don't do that to me. Don't <laughs> do that to me. <laughs> Jesus. He, uh, he, he didn't... I mean, Skyline, thankfully, was nowhere near uh, BDRW, but he went straight from the left-hand side to the right-hand side uh, as you turn in. So that was... that could have been interesting. Oh, this race is just already... We're only on lap 12! 
Why? That's not too you bad. That's got a bit. That's got a bit of the way. The third of the way through. We've only lost. Craig. We've only lost four people. We've only lost four people. That's not too bad. Yeah, but if I go for if I go for everyone, right? Lukey's Lukey's got damage. Is Skyline the only? Yeah, Skyline's the only one left. Yeah, He's he the only one damage. left that is yet to have damage at all. And as, he's, and, damage, though, <laughs> as I say that, he's just hit the wall. I don't know how he hasn't got damage, but... Oh. I, don't, I don't think you should keep saying that about Ron, he's going to jinx the guy, he will get damage. And that damage. Come on, he jinxed me before in Monaco. It's my time now. Ah, oh, BDO again. Need to slow down for the pits. Yeah, you must have not really practiced that. John's got another penalty. There's going to be a lot of penalties at the end of this race. They really would. Speaking of the devil, you have 33, so you can't really... I have 28. That wasn't oh, it's Reno. Reno's around again. That's Joran. Oh, Wait, Joran, what you got to do is just finish. You'll get a point. Just don't just crash slow out. down. You'll get a point. Yes, you'll get a point. I'm going to count the amount of stops. I mean, you got Joe on three, BDRW on three, HRG on two. As I said, the front three have yet to pit. And again, Lukey's still going round. But the gap stabilising between him and Skyline, so... No need to come in, really, unless Skyline was really catching up for it, so there's no need to come in yet. See the thing. See the thing is, it's it's a thing of motivation, isn't it? Ryan's Ryan has already said multiple times he doesn't like this track at all. He just wants to get this done and dusted. If you said to him he was going to finish second in this race, regardless of how it was done, he'd take it. He'd take it and run. Especially when. Of course he would. Any day. Especially when you got Eagle and Mansell in fifth and sixth in a, in their troubles. So. Oh, so there's this yellow flag is set to three. So where's that? Oh, HLG spun it. HLG spun it, Novell. Oh yes, yeah, exactly where Desert oh. Eagle lost it. Exactly where he lost it. Oh, and speaking Slow of Eagle, down, he's, he's lost his front wing. Oh my god. Oh yes, yeah, he's coming in the pit lane. Wow. Mansell's, Mansell's in fifth. fifth. Wow. Oh, lucky boy. He's, he's had a lot of damage there. Wow, the two... Championship contenders are not having a great day around Monaco. They really are not. They really not. But this is really going to help anyone Ryan is. out for the championship as well. I don't think anyone's having a good day. <laughs> Everyone's going to have a happy day. They're all going to be is, just like... Why has Hedgehog G decided to stay out? Did he not get damage? Uh, I don't think he did. Oh yeah, he does. He's got a bit of his left hand front. Left hand front. As uh, oh. Up. oh! Beat it up! He's upside down! <laughs> oh my god, that is, How is that, has he is done that? that? the Verline all over again. Is he... the Verline. No. Oh my god. You're upside down. How have it, the wheels... I don't know wow. what the wheel's doing. Um... That's exactly where Verline lost it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, but he got taken out by button. <laughs> yeah. How so has how he has done that? that? Media, oh if you Media, if you recorded that... <laughs> Please send it to me. Oh, please. I think the McLaren of um, Desert Eagle tried to sort of help him there. Sort of turned towards it. Wow, when has he done that? Wow. That is. That is something else. Oh, well, we never saw that last night. Wow, okay. Well, all I would say is I think it's um, beaten HLG's barrel roll around. Um, on this track a couple of seasons ago. I think it's overtaken now. He must have, he must have had contact with somebody like Button and Verline in the real life, didn't he? It had to be. How can, you can't lose that like that on your own. I can't imagine that. Um, I, I don't know. I really do not know how he's his, done that. His car would have to have been tipped upside down to the side. Mm. Ryan's in the pits. <laughs> Actually, this, to be fair, this is around the point you start coming in from Ultrasoft now anyway, so... It's a yeah. normal regular pit stop. He's perfectly fine. Optical G is in the pits. I noticed Optical G, despite having this damage from the first time I noticed it was lap 7, he's kept it all yeah. the way to his pit stop. 
He's done very well, and he hasn't really lost that much. And he, had, off, he yeah. hasn't. He has decided not to change his front wing. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That must be all right, though, unless he's forgot to. But yes, but unless, Gary is now unless on the it's a unless it's a viewing glitch. <coughs> But Gary Unless it's a fluid glitch, he doesn't actually have damage. Stop. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Here's a question, Craig. An even better question. Yeah. Are we actually going to see any overtakes? I think that would be a bit dangerous, wouldn't we? The way we see things tonight, there's going to be an absolute overtake. Right, there, there, there may have been, that may have been but, one that I missed in that one, but I haven't seen, you know, haven't viewed a focused on as Eagle says fast as lap 15 4 and super subs. Where is he gone out? He's seventh. How far is he behind the leader? Jeez. He is a minute nine. The minute nine behind the He's leader. Very close, very close to getting lap, but Luke is just coming to pits. So yeah. race leader in the pits. Should be hang on a minute. Oh, because he, he had his damage. Yeah, the damage will be Ryan? close to Ryan. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, he's, he's just. Oh, he's just. Only wow. just. Huh. Hmm. So now we do have a battle for the lead between the two Mercedes. Yeah, but is it going to be a battle? Is it? I hope so. Ryan can see <laughs> team orders race. already. I said him or Martin could win. And Gary's not that far behind, neither on the softs, so don't count him out either. Um, yeah, Gary pitted very, very early though, that's like lap two. Yeah, so... but those, yeah, those softs could go off for ages though. Oh, uh, HMG, no! Oh. Well, it's a case of, um, if, if your day goes bad, it just goes bad, doesn't it? It goes really. very bad, nothing goes right. Nothing goes right. I, I think that's Monaco in a nutshell, either. Really, I think. You either have a really, 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 really good race where nothing happens to you, and you win, and it's, you know, you, f you feel on top of the world, or it goes bad. Really bad. Oh, Eagles, there's Eagles out! There's Eagles, Eagles out. gone! Eagles out! No! Championship leader! Where is it? I can't see his gone. car. Where's his car? Where's his car? Where's his uh, car? Uh, before the hairpin. Oh. He's done a Rosberg, yeah. but crashed it. It's, it's exactly wow, the, the thing where Rosberg done it in is out yeah. of the race. Wow. Oh, wow, well, we wow. We, I can't believe I'm saying this, Michael. We're down to eight people, and we've got nearly like 20 odd laps still to go. <laughs> 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 Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. We could end up with like just three people oh, left. Oh, dear. Right, well, Richie, all you got is just finished. Now, your championship rival is out. Just survive. You know the you know the people I feel sorry for at the moment though. Is, um, <laughs> Mackie and Joran. Because if a safety Why? car was on, they'd they come right back in the fray, wouldn't they? It was already in like, fact, what, you'd have uh, down or something, so they wouldn't be able to do much. In fact, you'd have H or G, who's currently forty-three seconds behind anyone. He'd he'd catch back up as well. Sadly. Thanks to Code Masters, we do not have a working safety car, so sadly we can't yeah, have do. that option. Oh, Eagle. This game sucks, apparently. Well, I wouldn't disagree oh, with okay. you, but... But... And Luke is easily pulling away now. Ooh, Skyline. Skyline, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Take it easy, Skyline. You're guaranteed <laughs> second nearly. Don't lose it. So that was a hawk that was right on that. Yeah, Lukey's Lukey's gapping uh Lukey's gapping Brian. I think yeah, Brian he's... will be very, very content with second. Yeah, just take it easy man. Lukey might hit a wall or something, yeah? Just don't lose yeah. it. I'll tell you one battle we might get. Optical and Gary. Because I hope Gary's so. I on battle. Yeah, Gary is on soft ties, obviously he pitted very early. He got optical now on super softs. You can sense a podium. Try and get it, Mr. Man. Come on, go for it. We, do, we, we need a battle in this race. We really do. We really do. <laughs> I don't think we've had a battle since um, the first lap. And then everybody spread down to call, slow down. Uh, Council's going around in fifth. 
HLG on ultra softs. Now here's now here's a question. Which softs does he done now? Um, let me have a look at the stops actually. That's a point. Jordan's done four. Mackie's done one. HLG's done three. Everyone else is on one. So. Wow. Here's here's a thing as well. I know we've got we've just gone halfway. Why? Why have we only just gone halfway? Um. Oh, the other oh, side is set to right. two. Darren again. That. We'll get. Darren, just, just, just trundle around, just finish. We'll get four points. Yeah, just trundle around. Yeah, you get good points there. And mm -hmm. he's about to be that. Message from Mr. Shadow. I hate this track. Everyone hates this track. It's not, not. It's... I'm not going to say. <laughs> Everyone hates the track. Uh bacon yum is spamming me. You know what? You know what? Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to. Why, you son of a. Stop spamming me. I don't know how to block him. Never mind, he stopped. Bacon yum is spamming me to Fortnite. I hate the game. Leave me alone. I like bacon, that's the only thing I like of your name. Right, so I'm going to keep an eye on Master Optical Team. He's really pleased enough on Gary now. I think he's changed his helmet. I like his helmet. It's the helmet that he's wearing before anybody says that differently. <laughs> Alright, I like the I like the colour of his uh, driving helmet, right? There we go. Save myself there, but yeah, he's got within. Well, he's, hey, he's almost within a second of Gary, actually. And Gary's got damage. Has equal. Well, Michael, we so have we a go. battle. We have a battle. Yay! Let's hope it ends alright. Are we going to see an overtake? <laughs> That's a completely different thing. I don't know. See, see the thing is, if uh, both Mercedes um, lose it, it's going to be for the win. I know, I can't believe this. Mm. Right, so here we go. Nice little helicopter cam of the first battle of the night, apart from the turn, apart from the first lap. Which, you know, we just want everybody to stay in a straight line. <coughs> which I, think, I think for the first few corners we actually got that as Optical is getting right up the back of Gary there. Right at the back. Very good on the brakes, oh, almost too good careful, on the brakes. Tap the back of him. Be careful. Don't lose your wing. See now he's lost the momentum down the straight. Yeah, see the problem with seeing a podium now, seeing a podium now, is, um, you know, you want it. He's gonna, when he's get close enough to try and be almost, almost desperate about it. Podium around Monaco is a very, very good thing, and you can see, he definitely has the grip about him. Gary must be, I don't think his tyres are very, very worn. I mean, 20 laps, on the soft, but he seems to be struggling, definitely struggling. Missed the apex by a a cannon's width. Not cannon, he's cannon's probably struggling width. With the, probably struggling with the damage he's got. Portugal's got damage as well, so... Oh, okay. Break for an equal measure, well... Optical's missing the entirety of his front part, front right. And uh, Gary's missing the entirety of his front left, so... <laughs> yeah, they're both in... Uh, Gary, Gary's lost it through the chicane. Oh. Oh. So you see, you see the guy in front of you has lost it, and then you want to go for that oh. gap, but you can't. How deep? I, I know, I know, overtaking is difficult, Craig, and we haven't really seen any tonight. But what's your best? What's the best place? Turn one, really, or Novel chicane? Turn one. No noise okay, and I just gotta wait for a guy to make a big mistake. He's gonna be very patient being stuck behind somebody around here. But it's very hard to overtake. Hmm. It's, it's just, it, it is it is annoying though, isn't it? When you when you know you're faster, you know you're more confident, but there is no room at all. And you just gotta be very, very brave and you've got to trust the guy in front. I don't think optical kinda of knows. Gary that much, but he's definitely got a better drive. Gary got a bit of better traction. 
not really close enough for this move up on here. He's got to go very late on the brakes. He's got close. Ooh. Gary Lefton, oh. no! Oh, no, he's round. Too early. Oh. That's the third guy that's got it now, we we'll see. We'll have to see it anyway. And he's got a free oh, and he's got a... Can't for that as well. Uh, he has, yeah. Um, Craig, is that is that a corner cut really? He was no, just rejoining the track. No, I think that's very track. harsh. No. Yeah, I think that's very harsh. Him to get that. Optical. He spot it. That was a battle. Come back on the track. That was a that was a battle obstacle. No. Hopefully he catches up. Hopefully he closes yeah. the gap up again. Got up to three seconds. I've noticed the gap between um, Skyline and Lukey. 13 seconds. How's that going up so much? I think wow. Royce has played it safe, I think, and not going yeah, as quick, coast I feel. Uh, he's not coasting, but he's, he's not going all pell, is he? Yeah, he's a sensible thing. Mars, he's ahead of Gary by a comfortable margin. So just he's just take it home for a second. I, he's doing the right whereas thing. The, whereas Lukey seems to be pushing. I don't know why. <laughs> I must go for the fastest lap of the thing, really. Which is still <laughs> HLG on a 13.4. I don't think he really can beat that, because HLG was on the Ultra Softs when he did that. So, um, he really doesn't need to be Ultra going for it. He's is catching up with Gary again already, so we should have that battle coming yeah, again. Back down to 2.2. <laughs> see, see again, clearly, by the, by the rate he's catching back up again, he has the pace. It's just, you could have find you got to find the space, don't you? And it's... Yeah. You've got to be brave, and you've also got to trust the car in front. And you, if you don't know what they're capable of, then you're nervous. Yeah, hopefully he's learned his mistake from turning too early. That would have woken him up and given him a scare, so hopefully he won't do that again. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be see, right at the back of Gary again. See, see again as well, when you've been... Fo oh, Gary's, Gary's definitely, definitely struggling. I, I can't be tires. He won't, he won't, I think he'll pit again before the end of the, the race. I don't think he'll go all the way with those stops. Mm -hmm. How many stops did he made? He's definitely made one. So... Yes. I just thought of something as well. Who on earth is going to be our driver of the day? That's Give a very it to hard Ryan because one. he's got no damage yet. Could give it 26, to it. In 26 laps, he's the only driver who is yet to have a damaged front wing. Well, I haven't checked him yet, so. Because yep, not intact. many people have. Oh, and I who's lost his set to two. Mackie's got a three second penalty. Uh, Mackie's done it, and then at the uh, Nobel, no, the hairpin. Did he get a corner cut there? Oh, was that right in the uh, hairpin curve? Might have been. Might be. You see, it's a well-known fact, actually, if you use that curve, in a qualifying especially, that curve can actually sort of... It's almost like a magnet, isn't it? It's like it, it sort of guides the car around the, around the turn. If you get your yeah. uh, front left wheel sort of hooked on it and sort of accelerate, then it sort of brings you around. The see if Optical does it. Wait, no, it just clips it, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's a well-known fact, but if you obviously if you do it too much and go over it too much, then um, get validated. But optical again, you've got 12 laps to do this move, so you've got plenty of laps really to do it. It's just. But has Gary got a penalty as well? But I have to think he's got to get past um, it and get a free second penalty. I think penalty. everyone does really. <laughs> I think everyone does. It's, it's, as I said, Greg, it's going to be like Canada. In both divisions, and it's going to be decided on penalties. I have been looking as well. Mansell is catching up to both of them as well. This could be a free car battle. Ah, it's within okay, six seconds, so still got it there. Gary must. Yeah, it's been coming Gary down. must be struggling on his tyres now. Twenty-five laps. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was saying the gap has been coming down. I've been watching it, so he'll be there soon as well. Oh, oh and Gary's got one, so one. Oh. Bit of a lag jump Gary. there, so. Oh, he's really struggling. And you can see in my camera view, you've got the Ferrari of Mansell, is closing ever, closing ever there, up to call again. Gary was very wary of it. He's making that Force India as wide as possible. 
Come on, Gary, hold him up. I want a three car battle here for third. Come on, let's make it interesting. By the way, championship update, if Mercedes finish as they are, which is a massive fall of points, they take the lead of the constructors and actually by a considerable way because Force India's best offering is Gary in third and McLaren's well is uh, Mackie and Seve as optical gets very close. So yeah, in terms of the drivers it would be Scarlet with eighteen puts him on uh, seventy five. Uh, HLG was currently in 6th by the way, would be 8 points, we'll put him on 75. Oh wow. Okay. And then you have Desert Eagle on 71, so going into Canada, 4 points. If everything stays like this, obviously. Yeah, and if Luki wins again, he's going to be right up there. And a flat in Sector 3. I'm just going to second the battle, really. I want this battle been craving it all that oh here we go here we go now again is he gonna go for it no no it's ever so ever so close and Mansell's catching got within five seconds and this these two are just holding each other up remember this is just for the podium they are uh 47 seconds behind Lukey but this is for the podium would you believe such is the nature of this track and the nature of this race They've all had their oh, this got tonight. a battle anyway. This got a battle. <laughs> this is a battle. He's right up his gearbox. Mackie lets him through. Good boy, Mackie. I do have to give credit to Mackie and to Joran. They clearly are not having a good time, but they're still going around. They're not retired as well. And obstacle again. Just got to get a good run out the corner. Again, every time he tries to, Gary just seems to have the traction for some weird reason. He's really one of those tyres with 27 laps. Might actually give driver of the day to Gary if he pulls this or not. Pulls this one off. But oh, to go! Whoa! Oh! Could I hand it to Optical as well? He's not. He's not being rash about this. He's looking, but he's not being rash. He's. Just thinking look about at the, it. Any kind of little gap you can see. <laughs> well, he's kind of pushing Carry around the hairpin there. Wow. I know. He's so, he's so much faster, but it's just. It's, just, it's painful, isn't it? It's so yeah. painful. Mansell actually is not really catching this gap as uh, much as I no, thought. He was, so I don't know what's happened. Oh. He was catching. It seems to me, I mean, Gary is obviously, he know Gary knows Monaco, he's been around Monaco quite a few times in leagues. I think Gary kind of knows when to get the good exit out of the corners. The last corner, yeah. you know, the one into the tunnel is up to the oh, oh, oh. oh, That was a lunge. Oh, we'll a lunge there. Oh. That was a... You start to lose a bit of patience now. Yeah. That reminded me a lot of what Tim McMahon does in his career modes. <laughs> he does. He does that that's, a lot. But that's career mode. That's AI. That's definitely. Yeah, and AI, AI a week ago in Rascal, you can't pull that off against someone else. No. Cool. No, the gap was not there. That was a bit ambitious there. Mhm. Mm but he's gonna get to the back of it very quickly again. I was just checking up on the damage report from Mr. Skyline. Who <laughs> he's off. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I check Ryan as if he's got no damage, he's still the only one who does, and there's HLG's in the pits again. Has he got... Yeah, he does. Well, the gap, oh, is, the gap is massive now between Luke and Skyline. Yeah, 26 seconds. Ryan, Ryan is definitely coasting. The, the, very second, the very second I go on Ryan to see whether he's got any damage yet, he nearly went headlong <laughs> into the swimming ball chicane. So... He's running on thin ice, but he's still, still there. Just take it easy, I mean, man. You're like 20 odd seconds ahead of Gary. I mean, as I said, if you handed second to him at the start of this race, he would have taken it. Especially oh, okay, if his teammate in front. This is massive yeah, for definitely. Mercedes. And of course, 
coming into the transfer window. It's massive money for him. He's got the currently the lowest amount of money out of uh, no force in you do actually. Pardon, force in you do. Um, oh, I thought I did. Oh, he did, yeah. But obviously, um, Mercedes have had good results, and Force India actually really, really struggling. In F1, especially, they've only got one point um, after Spain. So, yeah. So oh, Mansell's in the pits. Mansell's been in the pits. Oh, he must so, have damage. Oh. Uh, he wasn't gapping up to. Wasn't gap gapping up to these guys. So that's the pressure, kind of, off these two. But this. Uh, this really is going to be the only action. Can Obstacle find a way past the widest Force India in the world? Well, it seems so, really anyway. Hard. Well, again, Gary clipped the wall. Another more, more damage coming off. Again, he just seems to know when, where to put the car. And again, oh, when it, it keeps on dabbing the wall, he's clearly just all over the place. And Octopus is nowhere near enough. But Optical seems to be patient, apart from a few lunges here and there. And he's up on the inside now. He's trying to go on oh. the outside and again. Again. But look at the inside here. Bit of lag between the two, it has to be said. I hope that doesn't cause any problems here, but still, it's there. And it's still on. And Gary helps <laughs> the wall, and Octagon hit the back of him. The yellow flag's all over the place, but I've got to stick on this. <coughs> I need a drink afterwards again. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna get get past him. It does seem like that, but it's it's now. Oh, fuck! We're gone. You saw it fly up in the air. Oh, Gary has to pit now. That. He's gonna he's have no turning at all. No turning at all. Optical just has to wait now because Gary's gonna go in the pits. Surely, in this lap. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, Optical G gets that podium spot. So there we go. So Gary. It was a resolute defence, but I'm afraid, well, you, you saw it just fly right up in the air. And uh, he's gone on to a pair of superstars by the looks of it, although mm, game says ultras. He's got ultras. ultras. Mm. Is he on ultras? Uh, no, I always go by race direct on the on the left at superstars. That game glitch again. As uh, Mansell's oh, actually going to get him. past him. Oh, oh is he? Yeah. Yes, he just. Yes. <laughs> wow. Right, okay, we might have a battle now. Yeah, I think we could have a battle here. Have a battle with Volvi Gary. So now Gary has to pass the guy in front. Instead of being the car in front. Well, he has to just attack instead of defend. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Blimey. The nature of Monaco, Master Optical G, third place, but it's a minute eight behind Luki. I don't think he's going to care about that. I think he's going to have to get <laughs> No. <him>. No. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, Gary! He's oh. got more damage. Oh, dear, Gary. What are we doing? Speaking of damage. Why haven't you got damage yet? <laughs> what? Damn it, Do you right. really want to have damage? He's the only one that doesn't. He's probably taking that that easy, he's staying up right away from the walls. You're going half throttle. Uh, let's have a look at this. So, Luki. Luki's just. I know, he's. Just being in calm and control, even with that damage, he's just. Being there, really. I mean, we, we, we kind of knew going into this after showing from last night, he was. Going to be. Up there hasn't been dominant. We had pressure at the start, but he's there up front. Skyline, as I said, he would be just thankful just to be over this race and a very solid second place. Optical G now into third. That's good points for Haas. There's another podium for him, and once again from uh, he got a podium in Russia, another street circuit actually. Maybe it's his uh, 
is a thing. Street circuits. Mansell is just, you know, he's a wise, he's a wise person. Mansell is. He's just stuck around, and he's in fourth place at the moment. That's all you need to do. Gary's been up and down in this race, and in fact, it's got you right back up to Mansell. Perhaps the back of him might have a battle still in his hands. Would be quite Ooh, interesting up to, to get from McLaren as well. It's going right up to get boss, and Mansell's had a horrible, horrible exit out the final corner. Gary surely has got DRS, but does he have the straight line? Speed? I don't think he does. No, it wasn't there. Mansell had a horrific drive out the final corner. Gary still went close enough though, even with DRS, because you have so much aero, DRS is just non-existent. Unless you're right yeah. out of the gearbox, and speaking of that, what happened the inside again? Oh, and they're coming up to Lap Mackey right as front. well. Oh, this and this is impressive. not the best place to be. Not the best place to be, lapping a car. And Mackey, right in front. Oh, he hasn't done Mansell any favours at all. Although he couldn't really help it. Oh, what's Gary going to do here? He's got a good drive here. What's he going to do? Yeah, he's, he's not close enough, no DRS from that tunnel. Oh, oh he's Gary's lost it now. <laughs> I thought I'd do that. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so easy to do, isn't it, though? It's so easy yeah, to do. He's battling with somebody. Oh, wow. Mm. And now Mansell's just got a three second penalty. Yeah. Well, you're coming to, the, you're coming Gary, to that point. Now Gary's got a lap Mackey again. <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of a touch between the two. Might be loud to do with that, but they're through anyway. Lobby connection be a, hasn't been that great. Oh, it's been alright. I haven't really seen it lagging around. Mm. It's a normal, really. Damage. No. Fine. But why is that got damage? It's not even going full throttle. No blame him. <laughs> he's sort of it he sort of shifted the hell. Use the power of the Mercedes, Ryan. What are you doing? No, just come through in second. I just want you to come home safe. Not that he's my driver or anything else, but. Doesn't matter how far he's behind Luke, as long as he gets second, that's no thing. Still got to finish, you know. Still got one whole lap. Well, two laps actually. Ah, he's, he's got to finish. He's in the bag. He's got to finish. No problem. It's not easy enough. He's still. Kind of better than relatively decent pace. Still lucky enough there now and again. Or maybe that's just a visual thing. Still. Well, with a lap and a bit to go, who's your driver of the day? Is there. Really uh, it's so hard to choose. Oh, look at this. Lukey is coming up to lap Optical. And Optical's in third, and in fact, what? Optical just stayed no well, way. well, well out of the way there. There you go. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it to Ryan for having the most non damaged wing out of everybody throughout the whole race. Probably. We all knew well, Lukey was going to be very strong. He's, got, he's still got a lap and a bit, Craig. He still could damage it. Remember, even the slightest oh, no. of damage, and then he loses it. I'm going to give it to Ryan. As long as he doesn't hit all or anything by the end of the race. Uh, you see, see, the thing is, I've still got, you know... I mean, in terms of position change, really it's... I mean, you've got Optical and Mansell up three places. From it, um... Yeah, but a lot I of can, these I kind of got to agree with you, really. So the position change is a bit different for this type of race, because they've only moved up because people crashed out or made loads of pit stops. It's not like... They got past loads of people to get up to those places. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Ryan. Ryan, Ryan yeah. deserves it. Rather day to Ryan. For that, as Luki is now on his final lap, 41 seconds ahead of his teammate. Well, the teammate is just coasting to the line. Who can blame really anyone at this point? They're just you're done. Really, just cross the line. That's it. Done and over, we can move over to Canada, which of course will be next week's races. And week after that is when the transfer window opens after the Baku race for these guys. So two weeks and uh, we may see people swapping around to different colours. Maybe we'll see Lukey in another team, he'll be definitely a valuable property 
after these races if he carries on this form. And he's coming now to the final few corners of this race. It's going to be uh, two wins in a row since he's moved down to GP2, but definitely very, very well deserved victory. The fireworks go off as he crosses the line. Would have been interesting if he crashed into the wall as he crossed the line. That would have been <laughs> quite interesting there. But we've got to wait a near almost eternity for the teammate of him, IDD Skyline, who's hopefully going to come through in second. Optical has already crossed the line for third place. So yes, so wow, the Mercedes podium is going to be the for the hard drive to do every lap. Wow. Mm -hmm. The only other drive on the lead lap. Optical, third, Mansell, fourth, Gary is going to come home, fifth place. Good for him. Joan, I I know you've got drive of the day to Skyline, but I've got to give a mention to Mackie and to Joran for actually finishing the race being so far back. I've got to yeah, give that credit. Really well. Yes, definitely. And Ryan is going to coast across the line to get home second, and the only other driver that's still actually on a lap-ish or still able to complete something is HLG. It's not been a good day for him, has it? But no, eight but points. He survived. Eight he points. He's, he's still there. He's still there. It's better than Eagle. Yes. It's better than Eagle. Yes. Yes, definitely. Indeed. Well, there you go, Craig. Well, what can we, what can we say about that? Chaos like I knew it would be, especially near the first few, first after race, that was chaos. Mm -hmm. Is that the first 1-2 for a team in GP2 and or F1 this year? I think it is, yes indeed. First 1-2 of, you had not leave for any <laughs> team at all. A momentous podium obviously, I'm, my, my driver's up there in third. And you have yeah, you must the be first very Mercedes one too. I don't believe I ever would have said that. And look at that, everyone has penalty wow. of Luki. <laughs> Goodness me. But there you go, there is your finishes. Eight finishes in the end, which, uh, to be honest, actually, that's the same... That, that, that's actually the same attrition rate as F1, because F1 started with 17, and I think... 12 finished in the end, so yeah, they yeah that's not bad because they hmm. 11 finished last night and we had 18, didn't we? Hmm. 18? Not bad. But we had 14 tonight, so yeah, it's alright, it's good. Yeah, so Luki gets the win, second win in a row, Skyline second gets right into the championship fight with that result. Optical third, Mansell fourth, Gary fifth, Adrian sixth, Mackie seventh, and Joran in eighth place. Joran did eight stops. Joran he's did four eight down, he's still finished. I respect him a lot wow. for carrying on and finishing. Wow. That's brilliant. Absolutely weird. But let's get the 3M. Let's speak to them. And do you want to do it, Craig, or should I? Ah, uh, you do it. You ask the questions. Meh. <laughs> You're better asking questions. Mm -hmm. I noticed that, I noticed that Ryan has put, put it on to Canada very quickly. <laughs> very, very quick, okay, well, which is probably worry. the best thing to do. Let's get these three on the podium. They've just, they just sprayed Woo, and drunk the champagne. <laughs> they just, they just sprayed and uh, sprayed and drunk the champagne. Calm it, boys. Calm it. I have a professional stream here to run, unlike <laughs> everyone. But uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Let's go on to the podium now. Let's go to the first step of the podium, which I believe you have a mic this time, Optical. And yes, you got a podium for Haas. Yes. Anyway, calm myself now. But um, yes, obviously you were behind Gary for the. Stream. Yeah. Um, you were behind Gary Allbone for pretty much the second half of that race after the pit stops were done and complete. And uh, it seemed to be a frustrating time. Obviously, you hit the wall and spun round, caught back up again, and then made a mistake, caught back up again, and it seemed so wild. But then the the moment came where he lost his front wing completely, just flew up in the air, and you got the podium place. Do you think you could have made the move, or was it you just applying pressure to him? He 
has a mic, but it's not working. Are you sure he has a mic? <laughs> no. <laughs> Optical. Can you speak? Are you alive? No. Well, this is going well. Second place, then. Either message me your reaction or just, you know, sort your mic out. But I can't hear you. Uh, hey! There we go. Put the tick, put the tick in the box. Tick in the box. Tick in the box. Tick in the box. Go into they the party thing. Look at the top of the party. It should say include my audio. And just tick that box. Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. Yay. I can't. Right. I can't stop saying yay. So, anyway, I yeah. Think... So as so as as I was saying about uh, you behind Gary. So. Explain, explain okay. that. Okay, so I think if he had have lost his wing anyway, I would have, I would have got him on that same lap if he didn't pit uh, into Massini because he was running wide a lot. I did send it down the inside a couple of times, but never able to make it. Sick. But if he hadn't have crashed, I reckon eventually I would have. If it got to the late stages of the race, I would have tried something. So I do think I would have been able to get it anyway. But yes. Um, so nice. yeah. So obviously. Obviously, you must be elated. I believe it's your second podium this season now. Second podium, yep. Yeah. Glad that we were so able that to does... get some points this weekend, at least. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, it is. So, uh, it does mean um, you stay up. Actually, I believe you may be overtaken by Luki um, in yeah. the championship standings, but still, still there, still there, thereabouts. If the front four falter, if you will, so that's yeah, good for you. I, I mean... um, I think everyone is going to have a bad race at some point, like Desert Eagle, he had a, one of his bad races today. It might be his only one, but he didn't do too well today. And I think everyone's going to have at some point a bad race, like Carwin, China, a, a crash and qualifying, and also disconnected in Australia. So I've got, hopefully I've got mine out of the way now. And also Spain got taken out. But hopefully that's all of them now. I can go back to just doing well consistently. Hopefully indeed. Hopefully, indeed, for me as well. Uh, well done in your podium. But we go into second place, IGT Skyline. And you said you said before the start you weren't happy with this race. I don't think anyone was. I don't think anyone was happy with Monaco. I think everyone hates it. No. You know, just hates it. But you have come home with a second place. And with all that, Eagle, obviously, his second race in a row, he hasn't scored points. And Hatral G in his troubles has put you right in to the championship hunt, so you must be very happy coming out of Monaco with 18 points. I'm not going to lie, I had to have a change of underwear halfway through the race when Eagle lost it around um, the... Um, she came back at the end of the tunnel, came right in front of me, and I was like, well, this is the end of my race. Luckily, he avoided me, and I was like, okay, that was too close. That was too close for me. Don't like it. That was a bit. That was scary. I think uh, I didn't. I don't think I actually got any damage in that race either. So that's another fucking surprise. So. We, men <laughs> we <laughs> mentioned. We mentioned that. Well. <laughs> we mentioned that. And you, you're going to hate me watching back on the stream because I kept checking back up on you. and was like, damage report on Ryan. He's still <laughs> intact. <laughs> Why? The thing is, though, yeah, uh... no. Like, there's the only part like when Eagle made his mistake. I realised that the next car behind me was like. 10, 12 seconds behind, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to cruise at this point. Then I saw Luke keep it, and I was like, well, if I can get out ahead of Luke, I'll give him a bit of a challenge. But if I fall behind, then I'll just give him a bit of space. When he came out the pits, I'll just give him a little bit of space, because obviously with teammates, I don't want to pressure him too much, and I don't want to pressure myself too much. So I just backed off, and then he, he just pulled away anyway, but I did back off initially, so I thought I'd be safer than sorry. Yeah. Uh, me and Craig gave you the drive of the day for simply being the only car that didn't get damaged throughout that entire race um so so well done to that um good points for mercedes as as i said and yeah very well done to you very happy. That's, um <coughs> yes should be but we head on to the race winner lukey 1210 now uh i, I say i say it was I'm nearly gonna say it was a comfortable victory but you were pressured at the start um uh, with uh, Eagle and your teammate Ryan behind you, but um, and obviously you had that damage in the first stint. Uh, were you uh, worried at all once you got that damage, or was it just managing the gap once you got out in front? 
uh, I was worried with the damage at the start that I was going to fall back into Eagle, was it? I think it was. But mm -hmm. the gap just stayed the same. Then after, did Eagle spin or did he just... Hey, he's spun, yeah. He spun. After that happened, <coughs> I was just trying to reach the pit stops where I checked my front wing because I had a big enough gap to Skyline, so that's all I did. Yes, indeed. And obviously your second win in a row um, has already put you yeah. into, I believe, fourth place in the championship behind the front three. Still a bit of a way to catch them up, I must say, but you're definitely in with the fight. Going into the next race, which is Canada, um, very uh, slightly different to Monaco. I mean, the walls are still very much evident, but it's the track limits track, I believe, was what I nicknamed it anyway. Uh, what are your chances going into that? Are you a Canada specialist as well as a Monaco one? I think I'm better at Canada than Monaco, I would say. But whether that actually happens next week, time will tell. Time will indeed tell. And obviously, I won two for Mercedes, which I believe is the first in ATA this season. So congratulations to the both of you for first of achieving many. that. First time any. No, first time of many. Oh, first time. Oh, confident much. Many confident to come. Much. What, you're going to be the other way around next time? <laughs> I don't really mind either way, man. I mean, I, all I've said from the Mercedes as a team owner is to turn and said, just get a title of some sort. I don't care what it is, whether it's con constructors, whether it's the drivers. I don't mind. I just want to get something out of this season for the team, so... If you can have more well, definitely come, after, get... well, definitely after that, you take the lead of the constructors in GP2, so one step closer to that. But, That's yeah, um, I believe um, that is it. Is it? Um, um, yeah, Craig, uh, what, what can we say about the race? What can, uh, how can you sum that up? I think everybody's just pleased to be done with, to be honest. Like I said, it was very mad and chaotic and um, quite spread out. <laughs> We had the battle between Optical and Gary, but like I said, fair play to Mackie and Joran finishing the race, being like three or four laps down and making about eight mm. pit stops, so fair play to them finishing. Definitely, definitely so, and I uh, hope everyone has and well enjoyed uh, the stream we have brought you. As, as I said, Monaco can be like that sometimes with the gaps and people not used to the chat, but we will be back uh, next week for Canada. Track limits, as I said, the walls are still there. Possibility of rain even more evident because it comes down quite often, especially in league racing. So we will see how that happens. And we'll also see um, what will be the next step in this GP2 battle. Four points separating the top three, if my maths are correct, obviously. Um, yeah, so any other, any other point to note, anybody that is in the league and watching, remember the transfer window opens after the Maku race, so if you are interested or, you know, or unhappy in your team, or if you want to go to new pastures that let your teammates know, so they can start making plans and maybe we will see a shuffle, or maybe not, maybe, maybe everyone will stay put, you know, just be normal, just, just stay where you are, <laughs> or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, everyone here from the podium, uh, for myself and Craig. Um, hope you've enjoyed the stream. We will see you next time on Thursday for the F1 Division around Canada. So from now until then, goodbye. Bye. Bye.